In a previous video lesson, I showed you my solo guitar arrangement of the Star Spangled Banner, America's National Anthem. I'd now like to show you an alternative arrangement I came up with. This is more of a rock style, Brian May style, wire choir arrangement for three lead guitars with overdrive. And it was inspired by Brian May's arrangement of God Save the Queen, the UK's national anthem, which was gloriously featured on the 1975 Queen album, A Night at the Opera. So this is my take on a Star Spangled Banner a la Brian May. There's three parts, okay? There's the melody, and then there's like a lower harmony, which I call the alto part. It's the least glamorous. It's stuck in the middle below the melody. And then there's like a baritone part, which sounds really pretty. And it's essentially the same harmonization that I used for the solo guitar, the chord melody style, except I re-fingered a lot of the notes. I have you, I have myself traveling up and down strings more, trying to utilize finger slides as much as possible because they sound very expressive. And of course, I'm doing some nice bends and vibratos. Again, Brian May style. So here it goes. Split screen. Okay, I'm gonna walk you through the melody part. The other two parts use more or less the same techniques. I'm using finger slides, bends, and vibratos, okay? So our melody, we start off. Long slide, deliberately using the same finger. Now a lot of these vibratos, you can either pull down or you can push up. It depends on what string you're on, what finger you're using. You know, you want to get a nice, smooth, even sound, not too fast. There I'm pushing up, right? There I'm pushing up. As you get towards the high E string, you have to push up. In fact, on the high E string, you absolutely have to push up. Because if you try to pull down a vibrato, obviously, you know, if you try to bend a string, you're going to fall off a clip. Same thing if you're on a low E string, you have to pull down, right? You can't push it off, you'll fall off the edge of the cliff. Okay, whole step bend, 12th fret, so my target pitch is C sharp, the 14th fret, so. I'm using my ring finger, supported one fret behind by my middle finger, and the key is to get the thumb, get that baseball bat grip. Now, I actually slid and I went to a different string, so it's not like I'm going. I was gonna do that, but I figured that's a little too far, so I went. And then jumped over to the G string. Okay, bar four, going into bar five. You want to make that a whole step. Don't undershoot it, don't overshoot it. Play that note a few times. That's in bar five, that's called a, a yanked bend or a pre-bend, ghost, like a grace note pre-bend release. Pull off slide. 
I'm pushing up actually and then letting the whole finger kind of fan out. It would have been easier to just go. Stay in position, but no, I like the sound of glissandos. Then it does this first eight bars again, second ending in bar nine. Okay, mute, rake, bend, and shake. <laughs> 14th fret, bend, uh, C sharp, but I'm muting the D and G strings with my index finger. And then also heavily palm muting. That's in um, bar 10. Now I'm at the 15th fret, and I'm shooting for this note, E at the 17th fret. Very important that you don't go, oh, that would just ruin it, right? I mean, you'd be like voted off of uh, The Voice or American Idol if you sung that, right? Of course, it helps to hear the other notes in the background, you know, the, uh, the accompaniment to have some point of reference, you know? Whole step bend, and then I do another whole step bend. And wait a second, not a second, well, you know, half a second, whatever, before you add the vibrato. That's the real good way to get a good bend vibrato, bend vibrato, is to uh, think like a singer. And then a half step bend at the 14th fret. David Gilmore, I always take a Gilmore. Comfortably numb solo, right? That's Brian May right there. You notice the whole time I'm doing heavy noise suppression on the bass strings. You know, you don't want them going like this in the background because when you use overdrive, it amplifies everything for better or worse, right? Even all the bad with the good. Bar 17, that's a little rake. I'm only raking on one string. You could rake on, I guess, a couple strings if you wanted to go. Here's a 14th rep bend, half step. Do not go above a half step, don't go. <laughs> I would ruin it. A gentle little slot up there, bar 21, that's where it holds. Get your pitch before you add the vibrato, right? Good thing to do when you're um when you're shaking a note like that is form a little bridge on the surrounding notes. In case your finger bumps into like you know the unused G string or high string, you don't want those to suddenly go, you know, so you want to go. That way you can shake, shake it up to try to keep it going, right? And then you're protecting the other strings from ringing. So there you have it. Now, as I mentioned, the other two parts, um, you'll see uh in the video and in the tab. Uh, they're more or less using the same thing, not quite as many bends, though the guitar two part does have some bends. But at the very end, what I did in the recording on the, the bass part, I went. Okay, um, you could overdub or you get a fourth if you have a fourth friend handy or a fourth track on your that you can go make that a single note and just have the fourth guitar enter at the very end and go you'll find the sound is cleaner if you were to do that so there you go my three guitar Brian May style, well and lead arrangement of the Star Spangled Banner. Help put you in the spirit for the 4th of July and all year round. And 
To see the tabs for this, be sure to check out the September 2018 issue of Guitar World.